Welcome back. Joining us in studio, we have Marshall Reggie Thomas. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Of course. So you guys have a really amazing event coming up. It's the first year that you're doing the Police Memorial Fest. Go ahead and tell us about this. We're so excited. Um, we're doing a, a Police Memorial Fest at uh, Park International, which is downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, gates open at 4 p.m. We're asking for a $20 donation. Yeah. Uh, what that does is, uh, an officer that was lost in a line of duty, uh, we want their, their family to go to Washington, D.C., and their name is put on a wall of honor yeah. for police officers that's lost in a line of duty. And, of course, that's some cost to send the family over there. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're going to charge $20. Uh, we're asking for $20 donation at the gate. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a great act. You know, we, we're going to have Gino. And we're going to have a curly tailor. It's going to so, be a great time. Yes. So anybody who knows about Zotico would know that that's two great bands. Oh, so yeah. So also my cooking team, uh, which I, I brag on all the time, <laughs> my cooking team will be cooking jambalaya. Oh. So we will have a, a big, great pot of jambalaya. We're just asking the community to come out to support the police uh, department. And one of the things is uh, this is National Police Week. Yeah. It ends on the 29th, so that's why we chose to do our event on the 29th. So not only the marshal's office, but the city police, the sheriff department, yeah. we all will be out there, and we're asking the community to come out there to support us. I love this. I love that you guys are doing this, and it's supporting a local family who yes. has lost a loved one in the line of duty. I think that's incredible. What made you want to be like, you know what, we need something like this in the community? Well, one of the things is uh, when I was uh, with the Lafayette Police Department as a chief, we lost an officer. And yeah. I know how important it is not only for family, but also police officers to go to Washington, D.C. to support that family. And how important it is for the family to see their loved one put yeah. on a wall of honor. So I, I thought that, you know, we can raise money. And if that happens in anywhere in Louisiana, then we can support that agency because we all are brothers in law enforcement. Absolutely. So, Again, we're asking everybody to come out 4 p.m. Uh, gates open at 4 p.m. It's at Park International, and we're going to have Gino, and we're going to have Curly uh, Taylor there, and we're going to have a great time. So if the community could come out and support us, we're asking for a $20 donation. Yeah, and they can pay that at the gate. Yes, it's, it's paid at the gate. Uh, we will be there at the gate. We'll be collecting donations, and you come in. We ask that you do not bring an ice chest, but you bring lawn chairs because we're going to have a great time. And I'm guessing some dancing shoes, too. With those yes. two performing, it's going to be a great time. Thank you so much for joining us to share this with our viewers. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Appreciate if you guys it. want to learn more, head to our website, klaf.com. But let's check in with Adam Olivier. Well, we are tracking some warm conditions out there. Check out New Iberia sitting at 86 degrees with a dew point of 70. That humidity is not going anywhere. We'll talk about that after the break.